Now, in commemoration of World Theatre Day, let's talk more about it and invite a performing artist. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rumana Yamani. Good evening, Rumana. Hello. Hi, Rumana. Are you with us? Hello, Rumana. Yes, yes. Nah, hi. There you are. Now, Rumana, I think um, from uh, one theater player to another, I would like to say happy uh, theater day. <laughs> yes, happy World Theater Day. Sorry, I think it lacks a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that, that I, I suppose. But, um, Rumana, um, I, I want to know from your perspective and also your point of view, what do you think about Indonesian theater at the moment? At the moment, mm -hmm. at the moment, I have to say, honestly speaking, uh, it has to have a progress. Mm. That's what I think. In, in what sense? Uh, we already had such strong history mm -hmm. in theater. Mm -hmm. We had, uh, we have such strong tradition. Um, so I think one of the um, we don't really preserve it that much mm -hmm. for specifically theater. Padahal, eh, sorry, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Even though that it, it's well for me at least, it's a pretty vital mm -hmm. storytelling. Is for me is important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So this is um, back to your question. Yeah, I I don't feel that there's enough force or enough progress in Indonesia the theater. Mm -hmm. There's no industry of it yet. And I think it's important to create a, an industry in mm -hmm. theater. We don't have it here. Right, right. All right, so, so we want to get to know you better. We want to get to know you more. Can you tell us how did you begin your journey in theater and what inspires you the most to become a performing artist? Um, I started since I was little. I think I I asked my mom to get into a ballet class mm -hmm. and then I also learned piano. So I, I don't know, probably I have already in, I'm interested in those things mm -hmm. like um, art. Maybe if you call it, right. and there, <laughs> whatever. Uh, and then at some point, I was like, I told my parents that I really wanted to learn to be an actor. Mm -hmm. Okay. That like, uh, well, there's a lot of influence, um, but like a proper like uh, study. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And obviously, they would, they were like resistant at first. Like, what? It's not. A the the be, I mean like the most pleasant uh, what well, yeah. um, I mean like it's not the uh, the convention would uh, expect like not a normal job probably right. for them. Right, right, yeah. right. You know, I think you we, know, we we, we all uh, it's not bona fide enough. It's right, uh, yeah, right. I think we really, all feel that uh, a little survive. bit. Survive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't survive solely right. on being in the theater or actor mm -hmm. but right. i don't know yeah i mean like i i did go and then i went to la salle college of the arts and then i learned i studied theater there it was very very fruitful experience mm -hmm. it's the best experience so far and i was yeah i was training to become a like actor like a trained actor and then yeah that's it i guess that's that end. <laughs> <laughs> all right so Rumana, uh, tell us about you know uh, throughout your journey who did you look up to or what uh you know stories did you look up to artists actors uh plays you know, plays during the time when you were learning uh theater when i was learning that's funny i when i was learning i didn't really remember but if I can answer now, at the moment, right. I have... At the moment, I'm quite a big fan of Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, she started out uh, her career in theater. She made a monologue performance. And then it... Um, it rose into a, a TV show, like a proper TV show, mm -hmm. from the, um, the monologue performance that she created. And then from there, she was like, 
she was writer and director. She was writing for like Killing Eve. That's mm -hmm. her yes, that's right. writing. And so it's nice to see like a person from a probably like a theater background, like uh, really makes it in the industry. And she is one of the people that I look up because she's, yeah, I think she's smart. And I like Tina Fey. I think I'm, yeah. 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 I like a um, comedian. Uh, I mean, not, not all comedian, but I like the fact that she writes her stuff too. And she acts really well. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah. Yeah. Um as a, as a fellow uh, theater, I used to be a theater actor, but still a theater actor <laughs> yes, at heart. Excited. But, but I, I feel like uh, what you said about industry is really true, because in Indonesia, we don't have that much of um, industry that supports our, our theater here. Um, Correct. Alas, uh, we have like lots of good actors from theater stage. Mm. We have Sari Majid, we have Nano Riantiarno. And yes. um, we have lots of names, and then also proud from the international stage. You might have heard about Benedict Cumberbatch, yeah. uh, Andrew Garfield. I mean, that's that's the big names. Helen Mirren and all. But uh, here in 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 this in this uh, in this very day, I want to ask uh, from your point of view, what is actually the role of an actor in a stage performance uh, from your side? Well, they are the vehicle that carries the message of the story. Basically, it's about storytelling, right? I think for me, actor is a storyteller, but she needs to to bring the 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 story up to like they have to make the story live, alive mm -hmm. with their body, their movement, and their voice, because yeah. that's their instruments. And also, they need to, um, yeah, they need to convey the message. That's the main thing, I think. You really need to convey something, a message, an idea, or anything that the storyteller wants to tell us. And we're like the carrier of that message. We're the vehicle. So it needs to be like handed it properly to the audience. Mm -hmm. I think for me, that's that's for me. So you need to have a. You need to have, you need to know techniques. Yeah, yeah. You need to know techniques and stuff. Okay, so here we have um, Hans, who used to perform in theater. <laughs> but you have me and uh, Weeby, who never been, never done theater before. So Very if you true. could give us some tips on how to become a performing artist, what would they be? Tips. Yes. Do we oh. need do, do we need any special skills? Um, I think the most important skill is curiosity. That's for me. Yeah. I think if you have, I mean, I think you need to ask yourself why you're doing this. Mm -hmm. Like, why, why are you becoming an actor? And then uh, really have a curiosity on about yourself. Like, how can I be, like, do this right. uh, the best way possible or like, know the the technique or basics because this is like a skill that's true mm. so and then uh find a place to learn that's always important as well even though yeah i'm this is also my goal is to create awareness of more and more an actor training mm -hmm. like a process yeah. so we need to have a like a proper process not like reading and then shooting or whatever so there's like a training and get yourself trained that's it maybe like get yourself knowledgeable mm -hmm. like ask questions get yourself trained uh find out about training places if you live in jakarta mm -hmm. or any other place so it's it's always good to to enrich yourselves with those right like about acting or training actor training yeah, so yeah. there you go. It's it's a it's a it's a very a deep self learning uh, mm -hmm. uh, skill, mm -hmm. I guess you could say. So, uh, Romana, my, my question is: uh, You've mentioned before that you know theater. Uh, there's no industry here. It's not moving forward fast enough. Uh, how how do you think we can uh, theater can engage on more audience? Is it maybe the the packaging, the story, the people? Uh, elaborate on this. Yes, exactly. That relates so much with the uh, the question that you, the answer that I had before. 
So um, we need to like do something new because your question is how do you get people to watch, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Like, yeah. how do they? It's more familiar to them. So I had a few collaborators, and we all agreed on this. Uh, we need to make theater. I'm trying to find the word in like a politically correct way, but mm. like you need to have um, you need to make it more pop. Yeah. yeah. But mm -hmm. not in a sense like um, it's a full with a it's a properly developed. It's a, a production, but like you need to have um, something to attract them, like the story being. Um, I don't know because uh, what I get is people's perspective or uh, stigma about theater is like they're serious and they're yeah, like yeah, yeah. Um, boring. They're absurd. Like, Sometimes people yeah. say that theater is absurd. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's boring. It's like old. Mm. Like it's not at all. I mean, I I'm grateful I had the chance to watch theater someplace else mm -hmm. other than in the media and they. They were really cool. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's still a storytelling. It's too, it's dialogue, but it's not musical because it's so different. Theater and musical mm -hmm. theater is very different. Mm -hmm. um, but we learn a lot from apa namanya, musical theater as well. Um, but you can make the theater as a live and like as fun as that mm -hmm. without like diminishing the meaning of the story or like without eliminate the uh, some sense of the story like we can make it fun we can make it light we mm -hmm. can make it uh, friendly to the more millennials or wh whatever generation i mm -hmm. yeah, millennials or like gen z so it's attracts people to come because we need to have an industry at some point right so we need to know what the market kind of like attract to see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's this is like a this is like a powerful medium for yeah, like a yeah. storytelling yeah and it's different than film yeah it's different than movie and so yeah and probably um, in, in, in a most uh, uh, in a more simple word you might want to say that um a theater nowadays in indonesia uh, for, for to be an industry it needs to be uh, more relatable and also from for me in, in in my opinion it needs to be more accessible yes it needs to be more accessible wow. and it's been you know Romana it's been more than 12 years ago uh, since uh, the last time I was on stage so it feels like I <laughs> I missed it Where? so much what what show uh, it was in 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 Teatro Jakarta in in Teatro Besar but Anyway, just don't talk about me. <laughs> because it's, 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 okay, it's about I'm you. Sorry. It's about you now. It's about you now. Can you right, please, right, can right. you please quench my thirst of <laughs> theater uh, with your performance? Can you can you perform a little bit? Probably about a monologue. Yes, please. Oh my god. <laughs> oh please, yes. All right, I've been told, I've been briefed about this. <laughs> I've been briefed. Yeah. Yet I was. Um, okay, so I, I did, um, uh, prepare something, uh, so this is a text from the play Eurydice, Eurydice, or Eurydice by Sarah Rule. So generally, I'm just, I'm not gonna explain a lot. The play is about the modernized version of the tale of Eurydice and Orpheus mm -hmm. from the Greek mythology. Mm -hmm. So she rewrote it very beautiful way and I really like the play and I like this monologue. I haven't performed it anywhere before. It's just for my own learning experience. So maybe I would read this to you guys. Please. Yes. Yes, please. Okay. Um, There was a roar and a 
coldness. I think my husband was with me. What was my husband's name? My husband's name. Do you know it? How strange. I don't remember. I, it was horrible to see his face when I died. His eyes were like two blackbirds and they flew to me. I said, no, stay where you are. He needs you in order to see. When I got through the cold, they made me swim in a river and I forgot his name. I forgot all the names. I know his name starts with my mouth shaped like a ball of twine. Or, or, uh, I forget. They took me on a tiny boat. I only just fit inside. I looked at the oars and I started to cry. I wanted to cry. I tried to cry, but I just drooled a little. I'll try now. <sighs> what happiness it would be to cry. I was not lonely, only alone with myself begging myself not to leave my own body, but I was leaving. Goodbye, head, I said. It inclined itself a little, as though to nod to me in a solemn kind of way. How do you say goodbye to yourself? Okay. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> so good. That's awesome. That you, awesome. you just want, you just want to know more. Yeah. I feel like I was engaged. that's, that's, that's <laughs> an actor. Yes. That's an actor. You have to be believable and it, it, you will, you will need to leave the audience just begging for more Wanting to more. know, to know what is actually after this. Yes. yes. Exactly. Romana, thank you so much. You got it. Yes, thank you. I hope that was clear. I wasn't sure if you could all hear oh, that. Oh, that was beautiful. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank and also thank you so much for your time. <laughs> Happy World Theatre Day. I, and uh, we are Hi. waiting uh, for your next performance. If you do perform the next time, please do let us know. We want to watch. I will. I will. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you Bye. so much, guys. Bye.